calendars. You love them. You hate them. They keep you in track. They let you know what day it is. They remind you of the awful math test that's coming up. <sighs> but they're amazing. Calendars let us keep track of the time and let us plan ahead and remember what's coming up. With that being said, if I told you, you could get a calendar on your original iPod Classic. Surprising, right? Yes, this does have a calendar feature and it is compatible with modern day Macs. So let's look into it. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get your own calendar onto your own iPod Classic, first or second generation. There are a few things you're going to need for this tutorial. You're going to need an iPod Classic, first generation or second generation. Either one works. You're going to need a way to connect this to a MacBook. And last but not least, you're going to need some sort of Mac. This is a Mac tutorial. I'm sure there's a way to do it on Windows, but um, this one will be focusing on Macs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is plug your iPod into your Mac. However you, you do that, um, you either have a whole jumble of coils or you have a Mac that accepts FireWire. But for me, I'm using an M1 Mac, so I'm going to be connecting all these guys together and get this iPod plugged in. Simple as a click, click, click. And last but not least, click. I, I mean, I, I guess there's one more. Let me just plug this into my computer. And, and then here's the last but not least. Click. You, you didn't see that, but I, I just put it into my computer. Now, once you got it plugged in, you're going to see your iPod do the syncing sequence. It's going to show the Apple logo, and then it's going to say something like, do not remove or something I, or another. I don't know. There it is. Do not disconnect. When you do that, you're going to see your iPod Classic pop up onto your desktop. Here's mine's right here. Well, we're gonna, we can open this and we can look at the calendars and context, and this is what we're going to be using to get our calendars into this iPod. But before we can do that, we're going to have to export our calendar and import it onto our iPod. So assuming you use the calendar app, we're going to um, open up our calendar, and it's going to look like so. Here's my personal calendar. I have all my school assignments on this bad boy, so that's what I'm going to be importing onto my iPod. So um, it's as simple as a go to File, Export, Export. And then you just export your calendar. Whatever your calendar you are selected on will be exported. For me specifically, I'm only going to be using my school calendar. So I'm going to save this one as my school calendar. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. So when I do that, I'm going to export it. And there it is right here. This is all of my school calendar. This is everything from uh, last from this January all the way to May. And uh, I'm going to have to update this soon. But... With that being said, it's as simple as a simple drag your calendar from your desktop onto the calendars into your iPod. And then when you do that, that's basically it. Um, it's not very hard, actually. You'd think it'd be harder since there's no tutorials on it, but it's as simple as an export to calendar, drag and drop onto your iPod. And then when you're done with that, what you want to do is just eject your iPod. And then we'll see it on this uh, pop up on the screen when this is ready to disconnect, which it is now. So let me disconnect this bad boy. The Apple logo pops up. And when we open the calendar app, hopefully it should show all of our count all of our new calendar stuff on it. And uh, show all my dates and assignments and all that good stuff. So let's see that. So when we scroll down to calendar, I go to all. And, and uh, I mean, right now it looks like we failed, but just give it a second and it will pop in. So like, uh, there, there it is, there it is. So you can see it on today's date. Oh, there's another one. They're popping up like crazy. Okay, okay not crazy, but. Whoa, 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 there it is. So uh, even if it doesn't pop up initially when you unplug in the, uh, your iPod and sync it up, it still is there, uh, believe it or not. Uh, just, just give it a second and it'll boot up. So if I were to uh, click on my calendar, I could just click on it. And see today's date, and this is what I had today. I had a nice test out. That was fun. But um, that's basically it. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave it a like, and uh, I hope this helped you. And if it didn't, if you're having any trouble with this, let me know in the comments down below. I will make sure to respond to anyone ha having any trouble. And um, that's 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 the tutorial. Uh, make sure to subscribe and goodbye. Bye bye.